Drivers are behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Off and up and in with the first shots are the Red Alliance 1672, utilizing that Red Alliance amp as well during the autonomous period. Cold Fusion 1279 with a multi-note auto, smooth as can be, four up and in for them. That's gonna start them off 32 to 12. Red now needs to look to play catch up. Funneling those notes from the center line, 70-45 MC Crusaders. Ironman 2 doing the same thing, but for our blue bumpered friends. 1672 trying to get out of there, but they're a little bit hung up near the Blue Alliance stage. Up and in goes a note by MC Crusaders. We'll see if Spartex can join them with a note. Looks like they're trying to shake it into just the right spot. Moving steadily around the field are these five machines. MC Crusaders now look to be trying to help their friends out of the Blue Alliance stage. It's a risky place to be towards the end of this game. One minute, 14 seconds on the clock. Cold Fusion slow and steady moving. They've got a note inside their robot, but it might not be going where they need it to be. Ironman Robotics grabs onto their next note as they head over to the blue side of the field. Lining up, Rambotic shoots and scores. Ironman who not far behind them. Spartex look to be having just a little bit of technical difficulty with their driving here, unable to maneuver off this Red Alliance wing line, 42 to 20. Time counting down from 33 seconds. More notes going up. Arms have been outstretched by two of the Blue Alliance robots. Spartex now in a position to start climbing on the Red Alliance stage. Now human players are playing those high notes, trying to get them on a spotlight. Not quite successful with five seconds left. Iron Man 2 looks to be in the air. Will Rambotics get off another shot? Just in the nick of time, it might clear. Stay tuned for that final score in just a moment. to 28 that final score three rp headed to that blue alliance two for the win one for the ensemble and folks it looks like 45 73 high